Hello and welcome, one and all, to another swashbuckling episode of Beer Barrels and Blockbusters. This is, of course, the podcast where you and I discuss beer styles, getting to know each one individually, seeing what makes them special, because they're all special to me. Some more than others, sure, but they're all special in their own way. Last time, for instance, we talked about American light lagers, the beer style that is special for making the most amount of money while having the least amount of flavor. That's a stupid kind of special, I realize, but it's still special. Jesus, how many times can I say the word special? I'm starting to feel a little special myself after saying it so many times. Isn't that special? That's a reference to a 40-year-old SNL skit for you young people out there. It doesn't matter. If you're a fan of beer and outdated pop culture references, you've come to the right place. You can always follow at Beer Blockbuster on social media, too. There's more of the same there, but with an added layer of people mining your data to sell you shit you don't need. Not to get all Tyler Durden on you. That's a reference to a movie from 20 years ago, which means I'm inching ever closer to relevance. Anyway, a couple episodes back, I regaled you with the legend of the ice box. It was the story of how one man's laziness and stupidity led to a revolutionary new style of beer. It was a good story. Funny, exciting, and possibly bullshit. This episode, we're going to delve into the beer style with easily the most famous origin story out there, the English IPA. It is a sweeping tale that plays out across half the globe, and it too is mostly bullshit. Or so some people say. We'll get into all that, but first, let's hear that theme song. 